So in my DevOps roadmap video, I got a lot of comments and questions in regards to programming languages. And one comment that kept coming up that really surprised me was a lot of people were saying, you don't need to know a programming language if you're a DevOps engineer. And I'm here to say those commenters were 100% right. So the truth is, in most DevOps careers, being fluent in a programming language isn't always a strict requirement. But in my personal experience, it's gonna set you ahead of the pack. So let's start this off with a story. A few years ago, I was a network engineer, and by no means was Python a mandatory skill requirement. My boss, peers, coworkers, really knew nothing about Python or programming at all. And they didn't need to for their day-to-day -day jobs. But then something funny happened in the networking world. Networking became less about the hardware and more about the software. SD-WAN, or Software Defined WAN, became a huge thing and network vendors started to support things called APIs. Since I already had a little bit of Python in my background, I was able to interact with these APIs and completely automate the deployment of thousands of devices. I literally reduced the work that usually takes one to two days for an engineer to go in and configure all the devices down to 30 minutes. So now let's bring this back to you. The truth is the entire IT field is extremely competitive and employers can receive thousands of applicants for each job posting they have. In this industry, you're going to need some sort of competitive edge and knowing a programming language like Python is going to help you get there. So stick around and I'm going to show you five reasons that Python can help your DevOps career. Number one, Python allows you to build your own tools. Now everyone knows that in DevOps, there are literally hundreds of tools to help you with your day-to-day -day work of deployment and automation. Having something like Python is another tool in your belt to help you come up with solutions to problems that you are facing. Number two, Python is one of the most popular low barrier to entry languages out there. Now some people see this as a negative, citing things like job security, but in reality, it's a major positive since DevOps is a team role and likely you'll be working on projects with others. Having Having a language like Python allows for collaboration and for teams to support and maintain a code base. Number three, it's a highly supported, batteries included language. With Python, you never need to recreate the wheel. If there is a problem you are facing or a product you are working with, there is a high probability that a Python module or library exists that will help support you. Number four, Python is the de facto language of popular trends. It's at the core of big industry movements like big data, machine learning, cloud computing, and automation. Basically, the only IT buzzword that Python doesn't find itself intertwined with right now is blockchain. But I'm sure at some point, it'll find itself at the forefront of that world as well. Number five, you don't need to compile. I don't know about you guys, but I find that having to compile and recompile code during an MVP solution really adds to the time to deliver. Better yet, Python allows you to jump into a console and script things out on the fly, which can be really powerful when you're trying to get something done quickly. It's like having a really powerful magic command line that can interact with anything in the world. If you want to learn more about the must-knows of Python, check out my Python roadmap video. Anyways, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.